So our beach house is beginning to take shape. We're obviously lacking a roof, so we'll attend to that. Uh, before we do it, if we zoom out, we can see we've got a lot of excess modules here that are slowing us down. We don't need them anymore, so we'll just delete them. Drag a giant selection box and hit the delete key. We might be going to use some of the other stuff on the right, so I'll leave that in for the time being. And we'll also choose Save a Copy As in the File menu to make a backup copy. So we head over to our walk and roof scene and select this roof. It's for a 30 degree pitch with a 24 feet or 7.2 metre span. We zoom in and grab it at the base of the guidepost using the move tool. We tap the control key to make a copy and head back over to our model. Zoom into this spot and click to place it. Now we'll go back for another piece of roof. We select this one, which is the 12 foot or the 3.6 meter roof. We make a copy and head over to our model. Now we zoom in and place it at the base of the laundry. We'll double click to open it up and we can see another group, which is the actual roof. We double click again to open it up and triple click to highlight all the surfaces. And we go for the push pull tool. We point to the side and type in two feet or 600 in metric. That's going to pull out the eave. Then we move to the front phase and double click and do the same on the side. Now we'll head up to the main roof. A treble D roof is a group with three groups inside it. The guide posts, the roof and the spandrel. The spandrel is a fancy word for a triangle. It forms the ceiling, if we're going to have one, and it forms the end walls on the gable ends for our cladding. So we double click on the spandrel, navigate around, open it up, and push pull it into shape. Then we open up the main roof and do the same thing. If we double click the roof, it should pull out the same distance. Now we go to the sides or the eaves to be correct. We pull them out two feet or 600. We move around to the back and double click. It'll pull this face out and then we move to the other side and do the same thing again. So there we have it, a very quick and easy roof and it would be quite cheap to build, no doubt, but it's not particularly pretty. It's quite bulky. Architecture should be inspiring and with SketchUp and Treble D we have the tools to make it happen. A key to good architecture is to break up the building into small elements to create a softer and a more interesting appearance. We should also try to make the structure generate the aesthetics rather than using accessories to do it for us. So we're going to delete this big roof and make some improvements. So please join us in the next video for some tips on creative geometry.